Well, hello. It's time to shake it up a bit. For welcome to week nine of the weight loss journey. And we are here on the waterfront trail. I've never actually walked this, so. But it's got a cool ambiance. And we're gonna check it out and see what it's all about. So let's go. So a lot of you asked me a very good question. Uh, a question I actually did not address on really any of the videos. And I didn't really have a good answer for it when you commented. So we're going to address that right here. You see, you asked, being down 25 pounds, how are you feeling? Do you feel any different? And I think I said something to the fact of, well, my clothes fit better. But that's not really an accurate response. Not really a straightforward response. The fact is, yeah, it's safe to say I feel better. Um, just walking around, I remember walking up to the top of my stairs in my house, which is not some lengthy staircase by any means, and being not necessarily like out of breath, but like, you know, you take an extra breath just to get it all back, which is not good. So in the fact that I f don't feel as miserable, then yes, but you, I do feel better. Look at that big. Look at that beast. It doesn't look as big in the image, but it's huge. And then it was asked, do you sleep better? Now, I was supposed to go for a sleep study before this all went down, and they have yet to call me back for it. But sleeping's always been a troublesome issue. I never got up from, whether I slept four hours or 12 hours, so I can sleep. You put me down in somewhere comfortable and I'll brick it out for as long as, you know, I'll brick it all day. Like, like I have no problem with going to sleep. But waking up is not terrific. Every time I wake up, I feel kind of groggy and miserable. There's a line from the original Ocean's Eleven where they're trying to plan the heist. And uh, Matt Damon asked Brad Pitt if he's suicidal. And he said, only in the morning. And I felt that. I felt that right here. Because I've never woke up like, you ever see those things like, where somebody wakes up, they're like, time to start the day. Yeah, no, never at one point. And you, I thought that would be better without an alarm clock. It's not, not really. Um, other than the fact that I get more meaningful sleep, I'm not as tired throughout the day. But is that due to the fact that I'm down 25 pounds? Or is that due to the fact that I'm not being woken up by an alarm clock? So it's hard to say as far as the sleep is concerned. Now I will say through these videos and through um, just being able, just feeling better, being down some weight, um, gets me more comfortable to be able to go up and walk a trail like this, a trail I'd never walked before, just because I know that I wouldn't be able to walk, you know, this far already uh, and not be dead. Um, so. It's given me the motivation to push on and carry forward. So in that sense, it is better. Look at Sub-Zero. Is your victory flawless? You bet it is. On the move. You can hardly see it in the trees, but... There. It's got like a little history lesson here on the trail all the stuff that used to be churches that either exist or don't exist anymore with a dude doing a Shawn Michaels with an axe killing it now even though I said I was feeling better a lot of this week I spent incapacitated you see I must have done too much at one point and it did me in because my back was jacked up. Like, I don't know. Have you ever been diagnosed with sciatica or had a sciatic nerve or a slip disc or something like that? But, and if you have, please let me know your symptoms. Because for me, it was like, think about an ice pick that someone set on fire and then they dig it into the small of your back. And that's how I felt for 
four days this week, I was just almost immobile. I could hardly walk. It was miserable. I was not happy. So, I really didn't be able to do much exercise, whether in the form of being able to get out and do anything, because I could hardly walk. I wasn't able to do any of the DDP yoga. I wasn't able to do any exercise. And finally, for the first time in a few days, I actually feel better. So, my concern is what the scale's gonna hold, because when I'm miserable like that, I don't think about me getting better, or me getting healthy, or me trying to eat healthy. I didn't know eat overly badly. I just ate, and you know, I ate probably a little worse than I should, but I did also nothing exercise-wise to attempt to, to knock it off, because I was just trying to do anything to feel better. So, I feel like, and I've cried wolf about this before, that if there's any week that I were to gain weight, it'll probably be this week, just because I wasn't able to move for most of it. So, that's why I wanted to ramp it up, head down to the trail here, and um, do maybe a, a little bit longer walk than what I had done previously. So, that is what we're doing. There's some more history on here about the Mon, the mighty Mon the chocolate river I only say that because it looks brown when all the other ones don't there's a lot of people over there fishing it looks like or doing something so yeah a lot of people out on this beautiful Wednesday in the city of Pittsburgh do you know that it snowed this week it snowed this week in May it snowed I mean bad enough we got a lot of stuff going on really gonna have it snow in May like you need to twist the knife a little deeper, why don't you? But at least now it's a beautiful day. The start to hopefully many beautiful days. Um, so yes, to answer your, a few of your comments that ask how I'm feeling, um, not carrying two sacks of potatoes around 20 plus pounds, 25 pounds of weight, obviously I'm feeling better. Obviously I may feel like I'm able to do more activities that I couldn't do normally so um it's definitely something that you know there's times especially when I was having trouble this week where I wanted just to eat horribly um but I found distraction Me and Sub Zero put in a solid walk, but now it's time to head home, step on that scale, see how we did. We'll see how I did. He's fine. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. So I decided to pick up a new scale. There's a reason for that, and I'm going to show you in a moment what this scale does. But first, let's weigh in. 270.8. Well, there it is after eight weeks of steady, solid weight loss. We have finally, sadly, hit our first weight gain, 270.8, up one pound from last week. And I had a feeling that would be the case. Through my various issues that I had this week, um, not being able to do anything active, I had a feeling I was due for a gain. Unfortunately, here it is. And, you know, now I have to try harder for next week. Um, you know, I appreciate those that stick with the journey, uh, to, to assist with this. Um, I had a feeling this week was coming. I didn't know when exactly. I referenced it in previous videos. Maybe I wasn't doing enough. And then this week, especially, I really wasn't able to do anything. Um, it was very difficult to even move around half the week. And then, um, just based on how the schedule switched and how other stuff was, I just... I was a little gun shy about really exerting myself and running into the same issue I ran into earlier this week. I didn't want that to happen. So, you know, that obviously I got to now push myself even harder next week. Um, cause I like seeing that two six on the scale. Uh, I don't like going back to the two seven. It's a loss. Um, so very disappointed about that. I have something coming to me in the mail that will assist with my exercising at home. It's actually set to arrive tomorrow, Thursday. Um, so I think that will help. Um, but as far as the scale goes, I do want to mention that um, I got that new scale 
and uh, that skill tells you a lot um, it brings up a whole chart of you know basically does like a body readout of what you have going on so I'm just want to show you it right here so check this out this connects directly to your phone um, when you when you step on the scale it brings up this whole workup and it it's in an app and it shows you all of these numbers and figures attributed to your weight. It even includes things like your metabolic age, 43. Oh, wow, we got to do something about that. That is disappointing. Now that thing is $30. It was $30 on Amazon. Uh, links via Bluetooth to your um, cell phone. And it tells you, you know, has this whole like chart workout. Now, are some of those figures that they came up with, is that kind of like a, you know, a placebo, a sugar pill, uh, something that's really like a like a fake number? Maybe. Um, but you know, uh, obviously, it motivates me to want to work those numbers down to reasonable levels because some of them are pretty high. I also don't like the age one, or has me at you know, metabolic age of 43, I'm 36, so, you know, obviously want to get those numbers down, so in the fact that it's motivating me to do that, I think that's beneficial, but I thank you so much for watching, uh, you know, week nine now of this weight loss journey, it's greatly appreciated, I appreciate all your comments, I appreciate your feedback, your criticisms, I like, you know, people that send me text messages, send me messages on social media. You know, anybody wants to message me about anything in regards to this, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always, and I'll see you next week. Until then, bye guys.